I first thought of the concept actually after one of those pay it forward experiences at Starbucks. I had a really nice lady buy my coffee and then I subsequently bought the coffee of the person behind me and I thought, oh my god, what a great deed, I'm going to have such a great day and five minutes later I'm pulled up at a stoplight and I look to my right hand side and there's a gentleman standing there with a sign that says, I'm homeless because of medical reasons I was put out of work. And it was the worst feeling ever because I didn't have any money to give them and I was trying not to make eye contact, I was praying that the red light would turn green and it stuck with me the entire day. Here I was so excited that I bought someone who could afford coffee coffee and the person who I had no idea if they had a drink in the last five days or a meal in the last five days, I wouldn't even look at him because I felt so guilty. And I knew that there was something that I could do to really make a difference and so the White Envelope Project was born. The idea, the idea behind the White Envelope Project really is, it's a resource for us to become volunteers and for us to do community service and outreach. It's, um, we're providing people with a bus route, places that serve food, what days they serve food, where to go for overnight shelter, and honestly, a message of hope. And I'm, I'm trying to ask everyone to contribute something monetary of their choice, but they don't even have to do it. The real message behind this is that we're going to create awareness. We're going to create awareness about the organizations that truly make a difference and an opportunity for you to make a difference in their lives too, either monetary or just social outreach. I've been here since May of, uh, May of this year. I had lost my job and then I ran into problems paying my rent. So at that point, I knew about this place you know, for some time. People find out about this place by word of mouth or you know other services or other places they went for services that would get directed here. Uh, the kind of services are you know meals and you know to have a place, have a bed, a temporary shelter, you know, to get back on your feet. And they also have a job center in there where you can go on the computer and apply for jobs. You have a, there's a few people in there that help you with resumes and you know stuff like that. The thing I, that I had that I could tell the public about homelessness, I guess it would be that number one, it's not permanent. Number two, you know, um, you know, you can you can get out of the situation. You know, if you put your mind to it and you come up with a plan, you can quickly get out of the situation, you know, and to have resources at a place like this helps tremendously. Hi, my name is Robert Holloway and the Phoenix Rescue Mission has changed my life. I'm really hoping that this project will inspire people to make a difference and to bring awareness about the organizations that truly make a difference in the lives of the homeless. We have a real issue here in Phoenix and together we can do the social outreach necessary to get these people into organizations like the Phoenix Rescue Mission. Homelessness happens to people, people don't choose to be homeless. And I'm hoping that this video will inspire you to make a difference and get out there. The information for where to download the White Envelope Project is located at the end of this video. And for more information, you can email me directly at lhofer, L-H-O-E-F-F-E-R, at gmail.com. I'm looking forward to working with you guys in the future. Thank you.